Hi everyone, it's Raja. And the Vivian. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. UK edition. And we have again this week, we have the Vivian here, the Queen of England herself, current reigning queen, RuPaul's Drag Race uh, superstar of the drag world. Keep uh, going, keep going, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the <laughs> queen of Liverpool, the queen of Liverpool. It's great to be with you again this week. Well, thanks for having me back. This week, we're going to be tooting the looks of the main stage. The category is surprise, surprise. Or, oh, as we say in Liverpool, because this is definitely a nod to Silla Black, the category is surprise, surprise. <laughs> yes! That sounds even better. This episode will be all about reveals. So let's go straight to the runway. Category is surprise, surprise. First girl to the stage, Ahora. Very Marlena Dietrich. Um, oh. 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 <laughs> surprise. I don't think I've ever seen a full tuxedo go into a full Marie Antoinette Madonna fantasy. That is fabulous. How the hell she kept that hair like that underneath the hat. She Jeez. is both bride <laughs> and groom, apparently. I, I love that. It was very cleverly done. It doesn't look like a reveal. You know, sometimes sometimes a reveal can look like, oh, it's like, oh, she's going to take that off because it's like bulky here. It's like, <laughs> that is beautiful. I give this an absolute toot. That is a toot. Next, we bring to the stage, Lauren's Cheney. Oh. Oh. I mean, it wasn't the most elegant of reveals, <laughs> was it? It was kind of like, bear with me. Bear with me, I'm just undoing this. This pops up. I think it's very cute. It was a very gradual and prolonged <laughs> surprise. It revealed into Tartan. She's She is a Scottish queen. It's cute. I especially love that first one. Yeah, it's a toot. It's a toot for me as well. Next, we bring to the stage Ginny Lemon. Ginny Lemon, fancy a slice. She looks fantastic. She looks like a 70s living room encapsulated in a drag queen. She is the sofa. She is the wallpaper. And what was the reveal? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so she revealed her ass. This does not surprise me one bit. And this is everything that I ever wanted Ginny Levin to be on Drag Race. She reveals the lining and it matches her dress and then she takes it off and then her ass shows. Brilliant. Crocs. <laughs> I know, Crocs, who knew? It would normally be such an abomination of drag, but I think Ginny is fantastic and I give this look a complete toot. And this is a huge toot from me. Next we bring to the stage, Cherry Valentine. Oh, isn't she sweet? A nice balloon. Is the balloon gonna pop? Like a gender reveal party? She's gonna pop the balloon and reveal the gender? Yay! Yay! Oh, I see. So it's sort of a non-reveal reveal. I kind of like it when people play with the runway theme and kind of make it their own. It is very much of the time. It is a conversation that is happening everywhere. So I do thank her for doing something that is so current and relevant. And it's just really beautifully done. The first look is gorgeous. Even though she only took off the top coat, I think it was a nice concept. And I think it looks very fashion forward. I love the little details, even down to the ankles and the bows on the bottom of the shoes. Yeah, it's two. Two. Next, we bring to the stage Tia Coffee. Tia Coffee, dear. Okay, so she's going for like a butch. She's male. And then bam, into, oh dear. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you want to start on this one? Uh. <laughs> It was really sort of uneventful. There's nothing really that special about this. I understand yeah. the play on masculine, feminine, but uh, the prom dress that she revealed into was just, you know, it needed so much more. It reminded me of like a amateur dramatics Oliver costume, you know, like an um pa pa, um pa pa, that's how it goes. It was just ill fitting, it was plain, the fabric was boring. Yeah, it's a boot. It's a boot for me as well. 
tea or coffee, I'll have neither. <laughs> Next, we bring to the stage Ellie Diamond. And she's a scarecrow, apparently. It is very scarecrow esque. What is she going to reveal into? The the tea tea man. Man. Oh, isn't Aww. that sweet? And then she's the lion. Oh, and now she's the lion. She said, I'm going to work with the gayest theme possible, which is Wizard of Oz. And I'm going to play to RuPaul because RuPaul loves the Wizard of Oz. I love also that she kind of used the same silhouette. It was, it was sort of all the same kind of dress and skirt style. And it just kind of kept revealing and revealing. And I thought she was going to end just at the Tin Woodsman, but instead she continued. And she completely changed her character with each reveal. I absolutely love it. And I give this look a two. Two. All right, next we bring to the stage, Astina Mandela. Was that the reveal? I think that was it. That can't have been it. She's a video game character because she's got sword in her hand. They're called size. They're what Electra has. I always wanted those as a kid. <laughs> when she revealed into partial nudity, it was a very pleasant surprise. That bitch has got body. No, I think it's a gorgeous and it's a sexy look, but I think for the challenge of the runway, do we expect more from a reveal challenge? Or maybe it was just the timing of it. Maybe she should have gone down the runway and then yeah. revealed. Instead of dropping the coat and then doing the runway, I think there could have been a lot more done with it. Even if you're cosplaying, just throw fucking rhinestones on it anyway. Yes. Oh, I rhinestone everything, girl. Otherwise, I think she looks fantastic and that body is banging. That is a two. It's a two for me as well. Next, we bring to the stage Sister Sister. From Liverpool. She's sniffing a rosebud. Oh, oh, she's now in some sort of fetish gear. She took off her wig. I'm not a fan of that. I think her the idea was that she was supposed to be in some like frumpy house dress and then she reveals into sexy and then the sexy gets weird. I feel like a lot of these reveals are just tearaways instead of quick change costume-esque kind of reveals, which is what I was expecting. No, I just could never imagine not being on that runway without hair on. No, I, I just wouldn't do it. I think everything fit well and looked nice. I, I'm gonna give it a boot. It's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Veronica Green. It's very country looking. Oh, she's baking gingerbread cookies. Oh, isn't she sweet? Oh. Oh, and now she's a robot. She's sort of an alien who is dressed as a... Gingerbread cookie maker. <laughs> yeah. Was that like a Stepford Wives reference, do you think? Yeah, I think it could be. I love especially the armor that she had underneath. The country gingerbread making wife look was complete as well. And she did really well to disguise that headgear under a wig without it looking clumpy. Well done. I think she looks beautiful and I give this look yeah. a two. Two from me. Next, we bring to the stage, Tace. Oh, oh, oh. 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 She's coughing over everyone. Blood, she's coughing blood. The star in coat was absolutely stunning. Like it was just layers upon layers of like red silk. And then that came off and she was just body. That is gorgeous. It's stunning. But is it just taking a coat off? <laughs> or is it a reveal? <laughs> if I want a reveal runway, then it's got to be like amazing. Is taking a coat off a reveal to me? I'm not too sure. I would say yes, but maybe not the reveal that we're expecting on RuPaul's Drag Race. I mean, in terms of being revealing, Tace has smashed it with a gorgeous outfit. She looks like a model. So it's still a two. It's an absolute two. Last but not least, we have Bimini Bonboulash. Bimini looking very burlesque. I love that hair. That hair is amazing. It's like a gorgeous big wig butt plug. I yeah. love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a baby bottle nipple. And what's in the balloons? <laughs> Aww. I don't think it's quite worked as well as she wanted to though, has it? This is such an unfortunate moment. <laughs> this takes me back to that moment when Asia O'Hara tried to release butterflies and the butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what? I feel so sorry for her because it started off so well. That hair was stunning. The corset fit her amazing. She looked beautiful like a model, but 
you know, just a bit underwhelming. I think she needed like at least 50% more paint in each balloon. It should have just been messy at the end. Like she should have been dripping. As an image, that is absolutely gorgeous. The boots, the gloves, the hair. I think everything about this look is fantastic. It would have been so much cooler if it worked correctly. Even though it kind of went wrong, it's still a two. Two. Even though it went so, she still looks the bollocks. <laughs> Wow, that was British as whatever you just said. <laughs> Trend alert! Floral frocks and crocs. Groundbreaking. The day I never thought would come. Crocs on the runway of RuPaul's Drag Race. Only in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> By Ginny Lemon. <laughs> Our, Our top, top two of the, of week, the week is... is Ahora! Ahora! Serving tuxedo, Dietrich gown. Yes. Full on groom into bride. She wanted every part of the wedding. She gave us everything. Ahora, top two, you deserve it, girl. Well done. Catch an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season two on BBC Three. And if you don't live in the UK, you can always follow along with the season on WOW Presents Plus. Guess what, the Vivian, I have a surprise for you. Oh, what girl, I love surprises. I'm leaving, bye. <laughs> oh, Charlotte. <laughs>